An interesting choice in uh, location for you guys. About ten years ago, we had this really mild traveling sister. She was beautiful, bold, and lived on the edge, always smoking cigarettes wherever she went. Where most vividly is the incident at the department store. She came across a thief and stopped him instantly. And on top of that, she started preaching to him right then and there and talked to him and <laughs> talked him into converting. <laughs> I'd love to see you again. Do sisters like that seriously exist? Sounds like someone I'd love to meet. <laughs> Definitely. It's um What was her name again? Uh, like, the number one girl's writer. I should tell Monk about her. Yeah. Can do, will do. Isn't he supposed to be coming here? <laughs> Give me. Okay. Us. Cool. I wonder if there actually is, like, something I can get from collecting all those. Oh, Reen, Tilly, and everyone else, too. Uh, uh, hello. Milliam and Major Claire. What are you guys up to? And here of all places. <laughs> the two of us keep on missing each other, just barely two. You know, like that time over the island ruins. Kinda real worried with that one. We're all rather busy as of late, but I want to make uh, to make some time to see her. I figured we can meet up and exchange information. I see. I heard from Millie and the, the old class seven finally reunited. Congratulations, personally. I'm happy too. Thank you, Major Claire. Honestly, it looks as though the future is about to get very complicated. Right. This may seem deceptive coming from me, but I really am cheering for you. Claire? Thank you. Those words are more than sufficient for now. Uh, what are they talking about? Must be something they've already spoken about. Yeah, depending on how things go, she may become our enemy. Alright, enough being around the bush. You got any useful information? For example, did you get anything from those agents that were captured yesterday? Actually, Lippus have all been very well trained. Their interrogations haven't been very productive. They've been blending false information in with the truth. We still don't know what their purpose is. Interesting. Is that bad? Hmm. I guess they're not going to be of any use. Yeah, and we're running out of time. Well, one more thing. We just got word of this ourselves, but... It looks like a few sailors went missing from Hindo Port this morning. Wouldn't you? That's... Just like the terrorist acts two years ago? Hmm. It must be part of the Calvardian agent's plan. Yes, but it's like they're purposely leaving tracks. It's rather strange considering how well trained they are. You're right. Are they trying to lure us, or...? Oh, this is good information, thank you. You too, Milliam. I'll contact you when I find something. And if we find out anything, we'll contact you, too. Please be careful. Okay. Good to know. Claire does feel like she's... I would say soften up, because I don't think she was ever really like that so much. She's less stern than she was when we first met her. Like, feeling like she needs to put up, like, that military uh, facade acts and such. She's She seems like she's much more caring at any given time. When we originally met her, she was very much all business and whatnot, right? Okay. So they needed something too, right? Hmm, it looks like the security's still away. Indeed. I believe it's due to the princess being back at the Imperial pla uh, Palace. That may be part of the reason for our semi-required request. It seems the requester is Governor Regnant, so I wonder why. Ha, <laughs> sounds pretty ominous. Got Antony Bands, Mr. Sister Complex? I most certainly do not. Regardless, you all may proceed with special ops uh, missions without me. I'll have this under control. That's basically Instructor Reen code for I am totally freaking out. Instructor, please try to be professional. <clears throat> I was only kidding. <laughs> Still, even though it's only semi-required, this falls squarely within my jurisdiction. I'll go in. <laughs> Incorrigible. <laughs> but perhaps that's one of his good traits. <laughs> I guess. Uh, and you're not being able to leave the sanctuary for some time. Yep, I'm fine. Alright, let's go see Elise. Uh, right? Guy's not even trying to hide it anymore. 
Oh, instructor, you're so cute. Oh, God. Uh. Reed and the students were cleared by St. Astraya and led, uh, were led to meet with Elise in the student council room. I'm sorry, everyone. It seems Governor Regnus was being considerate on her behalf. No, no, don't worry about it. As the princess's absence caused some sort of trouble. Yes, the school's planning an event for the summer festival tomorrow. We're going to hold a small charity bazaar in front of the cathedral. A charity bazaar? Oh, yes, St. Estraya runs that little market every year, doesn't it? The uh, proceeds are all donated to places in need, such as orphanages. Ha, <laughs> sounds like the kind of thing you'd expect from a fancy lady school. But something, uh, something is putting it in danger. Is that right? Yes, though it's a bit of a sensitive matter. To be honest, there are those who wait for Her Highness's absence in order to hassle the girls here. What? Hassle? Are they, I believe, in the term... Uh, I believe the term is hitting on them? It's a bit worse than that. I happened to be there yesterday afternoon. They're trying to force girls into their orbital car. That, that's horrible. <laughs> the fact that scumbag are using orbital car means they're used to pulling this sort of crap. What? No way. This area seems so safe, though. Seems like something the military police should already be handling. If I were to hazard a guess... Perhaps the corporates are in a position of power. That's right. We figured out the owner of the overcar. He's the son of Heimdall Bank's president. The very same bank currently funding our school through their donations. Interesting. The president of Heimdall Bank. <laughs> That's one of the biggest banks in the Empire. Is it not the biggest? Correct. Oh, Crossbow. That bank is second only to the former International Bank of Crossbow, because it's part of Erebonia now! Ha 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 ha! This is serious, then. It doesn't matter who you are. There are some things you just cannot do. It seems like this is all some sick game they play when there's no Imperial Guards watching. So it appears. Not to mention, some of the girls who go here are going through some uh, financial issues. That's right. Yesterday, the culprits were trying to use the bank's donations as a way to force the girls to come with them. I tried to stop them, and there was a bit of a struggle before the military police showed up. <laughs> and the fact that they didn't arrest those guys on the spot means... Do they hold sway over even the military police? Seriously? I don't think that's it. It seems like they've been having security issues since yesterday. And because of that, they're having trouble patrolling all the different areas of the capital. Well, the same opera car was seen in the area this morning, too. So we can't uh, start getting ready for the bazaar until we know it's safe. The police are definitely tied up dealing with Calvert's agents. On top of that, the Heimdall Bank does have a considerable amount of clout. Ha! <laughs> I'm milking the situation for all it's worth, huh? These guys must be some serious scum. I agree. To be honest, it is rather infuriating. By the way, Elise... You said there was a struggle yesterday. Did those guys do anything to you? Oh, no, it wasn't anything that bad. Well, you admitted it. They just grabbed my arm and stroked my cheek a little. Ah, okay then. The only suitable punishment for that is death. I'll handle this personally. I'm sure if I tie them to Valimar and take them for a nice stroll in the clouds, they'll behave. Reen? All right, stop right there. It was then that instructor Reen quietly snapped. <laughs> quietly, yes, quietly. <laughs> I think I like this new Reen. Don't you think that's going a bit overboard? Maybe a little, but it'll make them learn their lesson. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if instructor Reen sat on the sidelines for this issue. You think you can stop him? You think you can stop me? <laughs> ah, fun, fun, fun. You and the others came over the bland as they tried to calm the enraged Reen. He went into ogre form several times. Once Reen had regained his cool, somewhat, they received approval to begin their mission. It took about five hours to get there. Suddenly, it's nighttime. 
Oh, this is, oh okay, that's, uh... <laughs> and then I... <laughs> is that right, Yuna? Man, we're lucky we get to wear the same Strahd uniforms at least, but... What if they don't fall for it? <laughs> I'm sure it'll all work out. Two darling little catches like us? Oh, there's no way they'd miss out on an opportunity like this. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. But we have to protect the girls of St. Estrella. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it seems the fish have already bitten. Ah. Hmm. Hey, Dario, there they are. Yeah, I was wondering if it might be the guys that we saw in Crossbell. I don't remember their names, but Dario sounds familiar. The boat just skews the black hat chick from yesterday. Ah, guess they'll have to do after we let the other one slip away. Hey there, cuties. What are you up to, lame little hooky? You guys are the ones at least mentioned. Ha, you mean that broad from yesterday? Ah, she has some nerve turning me, turn me down like that. But I'll let bygones be bygones. If you two sweethearts don't mind hanging out for the day. Huh? But... I'm Dario Giscard, son of the owner of the Heimdall Bank. That means I'm the heir to the guy funding your education through donations. <laughs> yeah, you better do as he says. Don't worry, we'll take you somewhere nice. Yeah, right. Why should we listen to you anyway? Why do I care? Fine, refuse. And I'll just have to tell my dad to get off his funding. It'd be a crying shame if your little friends were to lose their education. Ah. How can you do that to innocent people? Come, come. Shall we talk about this more in private? No pressure, though. It's all up to you girls. You say, I'll go by myself. No, I can't let you do this alone. No need to fight. I don't like to be kept waiting. Either way, we are going with you. Once the princess gets back, your backgrounds won't matter. <laughs> That's why we're here now. When the princess is gone, get him. Got it. Okay. It's going to plan. You run for this, gross. Oh, shit. Uh, what would the plan be? I don't actually know. Like, if we were going to crush them, we could have crushed them before. If we're going to cry for help, is that really going to help? Isn't that basically what they said happened previously? The police came by and they didn't really care. And this is very risky, so... It's the only one that makes any sense to me at the moment, though. Ah, uh... uh, you won't get away with this. Stop, just leave us alone. Ha, <laughs> shut your traps. Get in, Dario, I'm starting the engine. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, so if that wasn't right, then I'm gonna lose Yuna and Misei for the rest of the game. Maybe. Woohoo! We did it, Arya. <laughs> there goes your school. Better say your buys. Don't worry. We'll sure to we'll be sure to bring you right back tomorrow morning. That is. What a bunch of low lives. Well, they're pretty predictable, at least. Yes, but this is where the real battle begins. Hell, you idiots have a death wish? Wait. What? You students? Hmm? We are from Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. We are currently patrolling the city as part of our field exercises. Seems like you lot are pressing girls into your car. <laughs> Score! This'll be some easy points for us. Uh, Thor's... that academy the prince goes to? Hmm. It's just a branch campus. Don't wet your pants. Hey, Trash. I'm Jaru Kiscard, son of the head of Heimdall Bank. <laughs> Heimdall Bank? Huh? You famous? 
We may not be nobles, but we're still among the top five families of the capital. Government connections, influence over the Imperial family. You've got it all. So what if you're from Thor's? We'll destroy you branch campus losers. Ugh. <laughs> now, you really want this, huh? Uh, if you get it, then get out. Better hurry before Tyra gets pissed. <laughs> so you still want to mess with us? Okay then, boys, show him who's boss. Hell yeah! Just plan. Now we can uh, dodge while stringing them along. Sounds we don't have everyone in the picture yet, right? So. Well, I'm, I'm not really sure what we're going for here. Stop them from coming around would ha Realistically, the reasons you'd be able to stop them from coming around would be something along the lines of... Making them too scared? And that's really about it, right? At this point, if we can't really get the law to properly... Or you could make them commit just like a proper crime. Oh, maybe that's it. Like an actual crime they can't like just get themselves out of. Uh, stringing them along sounds like... It seems like the fight them would be a bad idea at this point. String them along. Huh? Hey, quit dodging! <laughs> oh, that's great. Ah. Ha, whoever you lose are, it looks like you've got some moves on you at least. Let's see you move against this. Idiot. You're way too obvious. Okay. Having a gun, is that legal? Probably. Just arm him with the switch axe. Mm. Mm. What ways could this go? So if we're trying to get him to... commit a crime... By setting up a believable situation. The axe probably might not be the best thing to take out and use at the moment. Tackling him... If, if we want to make it believable and make it so that... We, we probably don't want to take out the switch axe, yeah? We probably don't, yeah. Because that will just sort of give away a lot of intim... That would add a lot of intimidation factor that we probably don't want to give him at the moment. So I guess tackle him. That won't work. I should use this extra distance, too. Oh, okay. Okay, my bad. Well, I, I guess I must have gotten it right on both of the previous ones, then. Fine. I guess maybe this was our opportunity to act. What? Ugh. Ah, get your filthy hands off of us. <laughs> that was a lovely kick, Yuna. Uh, you, those uniforms. Oh, I get it. You tricked us. That's right. And now I've got enough evidence to make your fancy, smanchy parents cry. <laughs> That's why we're here now, while the princess is gone. Get him. You got it! Huh, you won't get away with this. Stop, just leave us alone. <laughs> Shut your traps. Get in, Dario. I'm starting the engine. <laughs> Hurry up. Well, uh, we're lucky they started taking sound recordings as evidence last year. It'll really compliment this photo of you attempting to open fire on the ca uh, in the capital. Okay, at least I got the important things. Huh? How did you? I'm fairly confident in my hand-eye coordination, though it wasn't easy. <laughs> Never would have let you live it down had you missed it. Abduction of minors and daylight shooting. Oh, I wonder how Daddy's gonna cover up this one. You, you, you little. We've already notified the authorities. You're. In addition, the Student Council has collectively decided to return your generous donations. I recommend you take this opportunity to reflect on your actions as of late. Wait, that's a significant. Huh. <laughs> You press have anything on me. I'm sorry, Scott. The heir to the entirety of Heimdall Bank. You're nothing but trash before me. Well, wait, what's he... Let her guard down. 
And this is where Reen steps in. Ogre mode and everything. Just like lands on the front of the car. <laughs> as long as I can get out, Father will have to will do something about this. He's gonna crush you like a Exactly as I predicted. Hmm? Oh right! I forgot Altina hadn't been around yet. What? Stay back, Altina. Kane! Gale! Just got the tires. Oh, yeah. Oh, the face of judgment. What? what? The Ashen Chevalier? Uh, Vereen? Oh, well, good thing Ali was able to see this coming. He just couldn't keep your nose out of this, huh? He disabled the wheels in a blink of an eye. <laughs> it just goes to show how much Reen cares for Elise. I agree. Your sister complex, as they say, is excessive. It would have been funny if you went ogre mode for it. They should have made him go ogre mode for it. Ah, I wouldn't really call it a sister complex. He's just overprotective. Unless Japan, like, like, treats us as the same thing. A sister complex, when I think of that, I'm not thinking of, like, you know, overprotectiveness. I'm thinking of, like, you know, having a little, you know, a little bit of a thing. <laughs> Much like Elise has for Reen. And he's never really shown anything in that regard for Elise, so... I can't believe this. I don't have time for this! Help me! Help me! Daddy! Ah. Governor. You were here all along. Indeed. I'm sure handling him would have been a nuisance otherwise. I've spoken to President Kisgard. He advocated for a thorough punishment. No, no way. Daddy wouldn't have abandoned me. Just because you're the imperial government doesn't mean I have to listen to. Well then, would you listen to me then? Oh! Oh, Finn. It's been a while. Y your Highness. <laughs> the main act has arrived. <gasps> Dario Giscard, son of the president of Heimdall Bank. I'm disappointed in the recent events during my absence. Well, I... I'm, oh, yeah. It is regretful you won't be able to attend the summer festival starting tomorrow, but I hope you'll take that time to reflect. Do not fret. I'm sure the guidance of Ideas will, so, will show you comfort. And Ideos is just up there being like, <laughs> no, comfort my ass. You know, I did see some uh, girls from the school walking around yesterday, didn't I? I wonder if they were part of the ones that were uh, hassled. Thank you so much, everyone. You too, Rain. I didn't think you'd end up solving things like this. To be honest, it was a little dodgy and way too dangerous. You know, Musei, it was way too risky for you to get in the car. As for you two guys, you need to take speeding cars and loaded guns more seriously. And what was your plan again? It was probably the correct the correct call. To, it was probably the correct call to not leave this instructor Reen. <laughs> probably would have given him some serious trauma. <sighs> But was this outcome really okay? You mentioned something about the donations, though. To be frank, there are some students who can't afford the tuition. While it is true that the donations from the Heimdall Bank helped quite a lot, if those same donations are being used as an excuse to do such things, then there's no real point to them. I shall speak with father and mother and see if there's something that can be done. Highness? I would also suggest starting up some scholarships. The security system has been reviewed, and the guards have been returned to their posts. We have the situation under control for now. So, you're free to go and resume your special ops missions. Understood. I'm just glad we have to help you guys out. You should be able to run the charity bazaar without any issues now. I'm looking forward to it. Indeed, I wish you all luck with it this year. As I will, unfortunately, be unable to participate. 
you say? Oh, please come and visit if you get the chance. Thank you so much, everyone. Please take care. I've heard about the large-scale operations taking place here in Heimdall. May Ideos watch over you. I shall be praying for your success. Thank you for your kind words. Don't worry, we'll do just fine. At least it's just like, what are you talking about? Alright. Holy bell. Okay. Saying a straight. Can you say so? Ah, uh, okay. Oh! Both of them, okay. But they're also at four. I feel like I've done everything. Well, maybe I haven't done a lease. <laughs> maybe I haven't done a lease. Uh. So, Saint Astrea right, uniform. Alright, got it! Come on. No, I can't put it on rain? What? What's the point? What's the point? I can't put it on her either. Whatever. Actually, it does say Eunice, doesn't it? Whatever. Whatever. What's the point if I can't just put it on everyone? Put it on Reen. You'd look, you'd look great in that dress, Reen. Come on. Oh, you're just out here now. Thank you all so much. Now we should be able to start preparing the bazaar without any issues. If something does happen, Elise, contact me directly and I'll rush over right away. Thank you, Reen. That puts my mind at ease. Eesh, can you imagine if this happened again? Yeah, I certainly hope it doesn't, for a myriad of reasons. Given how public all this was, I don't believe there will be imminent danger of a repeat. I do wonder if there's other people with the amount of influence to really try that shit, basically. To even be motivated to do it. Hello, Reen. How are things going over there? Oh, hello. We're about halfway through our patrol. Sounds like a smooth ride so far. As for us, we've detained six agents. Tina's Orbital Care has been doing great with combat tactics, too. And we know that the Bracer Guild's caught five agents on their side so far. <laughs> I'm so proud of Tina. Good to hear combat tactics ain't slacking. So, for for so few people, the Guild does excellent work. I agree, but we wanted to report something to you. The agents' calls aren't acting normal. Ah, don't tell me. It's likely they're confused, I guess. The movements turn sluggish, and whatever they say is complete nonsense. And here's the thing. It happened to those caught by the guild, too. They're terrified and claiming they've seen a ghost. All, like, a hundred of them? Every single one that they've come across. A ghost? Could it be some kind of spiritual enemy? <laughs> you sure they didn't all hallucinate or some shit? Cowardice isn't something you'd expect from secret agents. Whatever the reason, the change could spell danger. Take care. You bet. Don't worry about us. Keep it up, you guys. Okay. That makes 18 agents caught so far. The operation's going well. Well, that's 18 between all the new ones. We already caught three. Still, both those reports were very unsettling. Yeah, but we have to leave it to them. We've got our own patrolling to do. That's right. Maybe we'll find something out. Let's continue. We really have mobilized a lot of help for this, haven't we? Oh, who, oh, who might be pedaling the race course in the middle of operations like this? Oh, who, oh, who might be pedaling the race course in an operation like this? Machias, Eustis, what are you doing at the race course? Are you gambling? Eustis, do you gamble like every day? Oh, hello. Looks like you've already started. Hello? You guys taking a break here or what? No, we are exchanging information with our affiliates. For me, it was with the Ministry of Railways and Heimdall Bank. Ha, <laughs> well, ain't that familiar. For me, it was the diplomats of Liberal and Remiferia. Apparently, they were secretly listening... Uh, Apparently, there are secret listening devices all over the place. Didn't we already know that? I understand the Mil uh, Ministry of Railways and Heimdall Bank, but... The Barely and Remifarian Embassies, too? I suppose it isn't that surprising, considering there are nearly 100 spies. Why are they so desperate for information? Uh, this is, uh, you guys are talking about. You have something, don't you? Yeah, but it's only speculation right now. Ah, uh, I can't tell you just yet, but... Just think about the military's preparations you've been seeing all around you. All around us. Do we really need the hints at the thing that we've already been over? Like the Panzer Soldats, the Railway Cannons, and the excessive mobilization of the Imperial Army. Is that what you mean? Oh. <laughs> I think I see it now. I'd say Calvary suspects the Empire's up to something. Something serious. 
and they're trying to figure out the truth and the timing behind all of it, right? Yeah, it sure seems that way. You can read that much. You're pretty perceptive. We probably should have figured that- I mean, I feel like we figured this out like at the end of yesterday, but okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, huh? What does that even mean? Even at my clearance level, I don't have access to that sort of information. But if we go by that assumption, we can start to glean what the spies are up to and why they're here. And nevertheless, there isn't any concrete evidence. At the moment, we don't have any probable cause. That's why we need to find and arrest these spies. We can afford to drive them to the point to where they uh, force us to take them out. I see. That's quite the balance in act. But Instructor Reen is right. Yeah, we don't want to plant the seeds for an even greater conflict. Oh, it's definitely gonna happen. We need it. <laughs> Come on, guys. We 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 need a cliffhanger for Cold Steel Three, right? I think this is basically what I predicted too, like back in the uh, Azure spoiler talk video. Yeah, I suspect like there'd be like some sort of civil war. No, sorry, uh, war between Calvert and Erebonia. It seems like the obvious uh, answer. What we could escalate to further beyond what we've already seen. Hmm. You all may be further along as a class than we were two years ago. In any case, we plan to continue with our meetings. I'll let you know if we uncover any more information. Good luck with any, uh, everything. Yes, and you too. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Just sort of going down the list at this point. Wow, the airport is huge. Floppy alone is bigger than Crossbow's entire airport. Well, it is the biggest airport in the Well, it is the biggest airport in the Empire. I heard they just completed renovations to expand it earlier this year. Yes, in order to offer direct flights to Crossbow, Dry, and Haliask. Airships and trains have become integral parts of today's travel and uh, infrastructure. It's safe to say their popularity will continue to grow at an alarming rate. <laughs> Even though tickets are still real pricey, it's pretty crowded in here, don't you think? That's because the Summer Festival is approaching. The number of inbound flights from abroad must be staggering. We can go out to the flight deck, so let's add it to our patrol. Understood. Okay, there should be something I can buy in here, too. There's the baggy. Baggy, baggy, baggy. The request from the airport came from the cargo division, right? Let's ask around. Hello, we're from Thor's Branch Campus, Special 7 Special Operations. I believe we received a request. Oh, you're all here. Thank you for coming. There's something I want to ask all of you. Our orders mention a package with an unknown destination. I need to send it back to the delivery company. Well, maybe we should just take a look. That's how you bring up packages? Looks like this place uses state-of-the-art technology. Ah, uh, yes. One of the upgrades we made last year was automating parcel management. And here it is. This is the package in question. It arrived two days ago, but no one has come to retrieve it. The shipping tag fell off, and no one knows where it's supposed to be delivered. However, it's labeled with a valuable and handled care stickers. From the looks of it, I think it's a painting. It could be priceless. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. Guess you can't be reckless with it. That's correct, so we don't know what to do. And suddenly we run into like a different like party of main characters and stuff that are like on a quest from Blue Blanc. And they're just like, uh, we're looking for a package that doesn't have a shipping label on it. Or something like that. That's correct, so we don't know what to do. That's where you come in. Uh, I'm not sure what we can do, but that's why we are here. But what should we even do? All we know is it's a painting, right? And we can't just blindly go around asking people, Heimdall's far too large. Let's just calm down and look for hints. It's not like we can't glean some clues from the package itself. Ah, oh, you're right. There are some legible letters. It says Lepanto. Lepanto? Yeah, that does sound familiar. Yeah, I think I saw that name somewhere on the main street. Oh, let me check my records. And now this is complete. I got a hit. Uh, Vanquish Street, Department Store, Lepanto & Co. Way to go, Allie! Wow, you guys figured out, like, figured out that like it was nothing. 
They've had plenty of practice. That was pretty impressive. They should be proud of this. Instructor, what are you doing? Let's get going. Indeed, it's not out of our way, so we should deliver it. Department's on the main drag. A quick tram ride and we'll be done. Sounds easy enough. Let's head out. Okay, I need to head back and get stuff for the, um... Uh, the pecky thing, anyways. Oh, while I'm here, though. Seems like something's out on the, uh... Uh, deck out here? Oh, boy. I haven't been in an airport in one of these games for a long time, have I? Oh, who's here? Oh, wow. Oh, is the nonsense here? Oh, I hope the nonsense is here. Probably not, though. Yeah, almost definitely not, right? Oh! Oh, okay. Win. I haven't seen you in forever. I forgot you were short. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Ah, is that who I think it is? It's good to see you again, sir. My word. I nearly didn't recognize you. Has it really only been a year and a half? I've seen your face in magazines and such, but they didn't do you justice at all. You've become quite the young stud. I can't say I blame Elisa for wanting a piece of... <laughs> piece of that ass. Ugh, grandfather! You're Elisa's grandpa? Then would you be the former chairman of the RF group, sir? Yeah, it's been a while. That's right. I was chairman until that demon daughter of mine drove me out. But I'm sure if I told you I'm an old acquaintance of Schmidt's, that might land a bit closer to home for you all. Oh, I see. Is that really a good thing? Is that really the association you want to make for us? Another member of the crazy old scientist club. <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. Oh! So this is the new Class 7, eh? I don't remember your personality. It's been way too long. These cuties are just as nice as the ones in your old class. Yeah, okay, the main reason I said that is because it felt like you're going that direction, but I didn't want to judge too quickly. The pink-haired one has some nice proportions. And the silver-haired one is like a porcelain doll. And I can tell at a glance, this young thing here is one spicy little devil. Grandfather? Uh, well... Yeah, old people, what are you gonna do, right? The students all proceeded to introduce themselves to Gwyn and proceeded to leave, making sure their skirts were slightly longer than normal. Now oh, it's clear to me all diamonds in the rough. <laughs> in the rough. Oh, that's nice of you. I mean, Alisa, take care of these kids. Make sure to polish them up into dazzling gems. Of course. They've only just started working together as a team. <laughs> well, we've still got a ton of work ahead of us. What are you two doing here? If I remember correctly, you said you were going to help Gwyn with his errands, Alisa. Yes, I'm also going to check the airport's records and security system. Earlier, I found both a listening device and a micro camera hidden away. Yeah, that's worrying. So they're tracking our every move, huh? I've heard a little about what's going on. Seems pretty serious. From the sound of it, what's going on behind the scenes is even more so. Ah. Uh, on top of all that, I hear Angelica's gone missing, too. I'm so Lord Ragnar's worried sick. Now I should hit up some of my contacts and see if they've seen her. Thank you. I don't think her disappearance is related to the Calvardian agents, though. Most likely, judging by the state of the cemetery. About that, I asked Mother and Sharon to look into things. George's disappearance, too. So, I'm sure they'll have some information for us soon. Got it. Thank you. When Alisa. An airship will be landing at Dock 3 shortly. Right. There's some shit Reen wants to talk to them about, right? It's been holding back for a while. Oh, it's here. Perfect. Right on time. Oh, is it going to be her mother? That sound. Is that a sound of engines? <laughs> That's right. Sounds all too familiar to the residents of Heimdall. The Imperial airship built with a barely in technology. Oh. 
Oh, that's right. The high-speed cruiser. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. The courageous... No, the nonsense. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many of you out there... Because back when I did that before, some people just got so mad at me for calling it that. It's one of my very fond memories of playing the Gold Seal one. People getting mad at me for making a joke and sticking to it. Oh, was that Oliver on there? Oh, that's perfect. If anything, I see the name Nonsense just like with sentimentality at this point. Felicitations, members of the new Class 7. We meet again, and so soon at that. Truly, this must be the will of the goddess. Want to go around? <laughs> Maybe that's the will of the goddess. Salutations, everyone. You know, Kurt, Sartina, and to the new members of Musa and Ash as well. It's lovely to see you again, your highness. Ha! <laughs> you sure look like a debaucherous prince, all right. Oh, I suppose, yeah, being a friend of Alfin, there is an explanation for why she would have seen- why she'd be seeing him again without a rising suspicion. Come on, Ash. But I hear the Crimson Wings are on high alert, uh, securing Heimdall's skies. I see. Were you with them, your highness? Indeed I was, after around half a year's absence. With everything that's going on, all the Nazis' crew have been returned abroad. Uh, aboard. Aboard, my Ben. I imagine now is the opportune time to gather all of our resources. There have been reports of unidentified airships flying over the central part of the Empire recently. Our primary objective is to prevent them from entering the capital's airspace. I see. It could just be the Society, but it's most likely the Calvern. Their compact airship technology is more advanced than the Arves. Wait, is that what you're here to talk about? Yes, Ruin has been our advisor since the nonsense was completed. We need to talk about plans regarding the Calvardian airships. That being said, once we're done resupplying, we'll be leaving. That should be in about 30 minutes. Martial law goes into effect at 4 p.m. I'd like to avoid that. Yes. Certainly, capturing one of those ships would, do, uh, would be a good way to discover what is going on. We should recommence our special operations missions too. Prince Oliver, back on our side. Can we count on you? Yes, understood. The branch campus, the main campus, old class seven, and the guild. Ah, oh, I have connections to all of them. I'm counting on you to take care of the city and the underground. Yes, your highness, leave it to us, of course. Everyone's so spurred to action. By the debaucherous prince. From the sound of it, you are finally able to reunite with your scattered classmates. I'm happy to hear it. It must have been quite the wait. Thank you, your highness. But it wasn't all of us. Ah, uh, yes, true. Go on, Brust. He was from Jirai, yes? Back when it was independent. His story and Jirai's are both truly heartbreaking. And regarding Jirai, I've heard some particularly unsavory rumors about the circumstances behind his annexation. There's nothing I can tell you about that right now. But I can say, I won't let this trend continue. I'm glad to hear it. The ship should be ready to go soon. Hopefully, we can meet again during the summer festival. Yes, your highness. With us here, though, I have no reason to declare martial law. Agreed. Please be careful. Okay. Well, I'm happy I didn't forget to go do that. Oh. That's not a good sign. Man, what a beaut. No matter how many times I see it, that ship is just awesome. I didn't read all of it. I feel like I haven't seen Prince Oliver at all lately, though. What are you talking about? He's just on it. 30 minutes until departure. Let's wrap up this inspection. Yeah, good idea. That is a weird thing to say. What's wrong? Nothing. Be right there. Yeah, 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 that's George. That's some... That's some significant tech. Wow, okay. Wow. That's gonna be hard to deal with.
Seen this boy's always selling newspapers. If so, you're gonna ask. Seen Artem. Oh, that okay. I saw him just earlier. So he got off here then. Well, which way he go? Uh, well, he started off by pestering me for a bit. Then he looks around the area for a while and hop back on the tram. Again with the tram, it's really like them. If only he knew how much trouble he's causing us. Do you remember which tram he got on? He got on the tram to Heimdall's Central Station via Vester Street, near the race course. Damn it! That goes pretty much to every frickin' district! I haven't heard of that line before. If he goes to the southwestern areas of Heimdall, I'm guessing it must have been installed recently. Fortunately, it doesn't lead to the airport. In any event, we should check Vester Street in the race course. Yep, seems like those are our best options. He seems to stick out in a crowd, so we just need to keep checking around. Let's see if anyone near the tram stops have, uh, seen them. Understood. Good luck! Woo! Yay! Not... 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 Not horrible at all. Okay, what was the... I don't even remember which one technically was. This one? Okay. Lepanto and Co., this is it. Hello, we have a delivery for you. Oh, that's the painting I ordered. I'm glad it's finally here. I was worried because it's taking so long. It was a masterpiece from North Ambria when it was a uh, principality. After the principality disbanded, the piece went missing. Which is why I pay a hefty price to purchase it. I see. I'm sure it's definitely not a fake. I hear that the former principality was known for its numerous masterpieces. Jeez, who cares? We delivered it, right? Uh, yes, thank you. I ask you something. Sure, what is it? This package was delivered to us. Similar to Oh no, one of these. This is a shape suggests that is a painting. Yes, this was sent to me instead. I think it was some sort of mistake. I tried sending it back out myself, but the label was torn off. One un one misfortune stopped and another one appears. Hmm. Well, are there any clues? Hmm? Oh hey. Oh, sorry. Oh, of course, it's your delivery company. Ah, uh, Josette. Do you know each other? Uh, she works at a shipping company I helped out once. <laughs> Looks like you're hard at work, huh? You seem like you're in a bit of a pinch. Is everything okay? Well, actually... Explain. <laughs> that sounds like quite a hassle. Those shipping labels, labels are prone to breaking. They cause me problems all the time. That wrapping paper. That's the same one the Antique Art Dealers Association likes to use. The Antique Art Dealers Association? Yeah, they deal in antique art. They use a special material for the packaging that protects the contents better. They have a few stores in Heimdall, but I think Lucian in Leica District is the most famous. I'm thinking of it. They, uh, don't they change their paintings every month? <laughs> then I say the probability is high. Uh, thank you. We'll go check with them. Great. If something happens, please contact the Capo Delivery Service. We might be able to help. Ah, uh, I see you, Josette. Not what I expected, but okay. Another call? Uh, Swords are speaking. <laughs> Greetings, Instructor Reen. Cedric? Oh, uh, hello, Your Highness. Prince Cedric. Hi, Kurtz. I've heard your duties above ground are going well. I'm with Instructor Neidhart underground, of course. The amplifier provided by the branch campus gave us the brain to make this call. As for the main campus, we've now detained 15 agents, all of whom are now in the hands of the Imperial Defense Force. Fifteen? No damn way that's true. May I ask if their behavior is at odds with my original report? Ah, yes, I heard from Herschel. The situation is identical. All detained have begun to act as though terrified of something and resisted in their panic. We managed to hold them down, but it was clear to all of us that their behavior wasn't some ploy. The operation is quickly veering into the bazaar. So it is. We'll try to look for clues up here. Please be careful, your highness. The same to you, Kurt. May we both do what we can as comrades, staring boldly at the face of a crisis. Uh, you couldn't see, but I rolled my eyes a little bit. Yes, absolutely. We'll contact you if anything happens. Exercise caution. Of course. I mean, ideas be with you. I know Reen has this whole, like, um... <laughs> like, over-the-top stuff 
the sentimental stuff sometimes, but man, that felt forced. <laughs> a surprisingly laudable line from Prince Ego Cedric. <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah, I felt a bit moved, even. I guess it shows that cooperation is always key in anyone's eyes at a time like this. Really? Really? It seemed really forced to me, but okay. Their behavior is growing stranger. I mean, f I guess it could be forced in the way that he explicitly went on the way to try to get his sentimentality or his sentiments across, but yeah. Yeah, there must be some reason. Anyway, only a little bit more patrol. On we go. Yes, instructor. I'm guessing for every single, just like, instance of the main story red exclamation point things that we get, uh, we'll get, uh, we like, tick off a box number-wise. And eventually we get to the point where we can, um, a boy by himself, I don't recall seeing one. Okay, so, not here. And then eventually we'll get to a point where, uh, where the numbers are enough for us to get to a point, and then eventually we'll, you know, semi-required, right? Pardon, ask you questions, sure, ask away, sure, package. Ah, oh, that's right, we ordered this so we can put together an exhibit next month. Phew, I was really worried. I don't want to resort to putting this on exhibit. Ah, <laughs> what do you say? That package behind the counter. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yes, I think this is delivered here by mistake. But half the label has been ripped off. Someone did this on purpose. Again. How flimsy are these damn labels? Oh, uh, my apologies. Why would so many be delivered to? They were torn off. Oh, no, this isn't your fault. We'll do something about it. Kurt, can you check the package for clues? <sighs> Indeed, it certainly contains a painting. The label's torn, but still part of it is legible. Nils Gen... <sighs> oh, Herschel's General Store. That's all I can read. That looks familiar. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely know where that is. Yep. It even basically tells me. 